Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! Fury! Oh God, it's such a good ride. Have you been on it? <laughs> <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> Happy birthday, man! Yeah, let's go! Is there anything else you'd rather be riding than this on your birthday? No, no, let's be honest. Let's let's be honest. The new number one, you think? After those rides we got on it, it's, it's pretty high up there. Probably, so I, you literally haven't shut up about it. Yeah. I'm gonna say, you. yeah, it's, it definitely, it's gotta be. I think it's my number one. All right, there it is. Carowind still has one of the best entry experiences. She's walking all around Fury, and everything is just so sleek and modern. Looks fantastic. So in case you missed it, this is our day two vlog from Carowinds. We were here the other night when we got to visit the park for Scarewinds, which is their separate ticketed Halloween event. And uh, so in that vlog, we talk all about it, as well as we got a lot of night rides. Today we will not be staying for Scarewinds. Uh, the park opened at 10, and we're getting here at about 11 and we'll probably stay till around four or five or so. Yeah. Who wants to guess like which state I'm in? It's both. Ha, ah, because I'm cool. Yeah, north, south, north, south. So per usual, we're heading straight to Fury because what else would we do? Uh, you still haven't gotten like a lot of the credits here, but hey, no. that's okay, you know? There's a pretty substantial drop off after their, their top four, but we are gonna do a couple, like, you know, We'll do the mine train. Maybe not Nighthawk. Maybe, do maybe Nighthawk. even we're Vortex. Help, I think we're obsessed. This thing is so freaking pretty. Like the best lighting and the line is a lot more manageable today than it was, uh, well, yesterday and the day before. Take advantage of it. Yeah. So, here we go. One of the best steel roller coasters in the world. <laughs> Front row is so sick. It's so good. It was cold. It was cold, but, and it's running slower than it was this weekend, but you know, it's still flying. Oh, no, yeah. Macy, you should have brought a jacket, like I said. I, whatever, no, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, it was running a little slower than it was uh, the other night, but it's still really freaking good. Peter, really oh, freaking good? Perfect. Did you drool again? Oh, uh, all over the place. Peter, it's a drooling, like you get on the front row of this ride, you're gonna drool. You drool in the line, because it's so beautiful. You <laughs> drool on the rock. Oh. You drool in the gift shop when you're you spend all your money on merch. Let me just say, walking up here and seeing this sign and this ride here is the weirdest feeling ever. I mean, I grew up riding hurdler at King's Dominion, and you know, now that it's Twisted Timbers, you come here, and this is, I mean, it's like the exact same thing, like even in the station and everything. It is so bizarre. But if anything, it makes me more grateful that they did RMC Hurler at King's Dominion because uh, after riding yesterday, it was just so boring and bland. Like, at least in the front, it was fairly smooth, but the layout is just very uninspiring, and so, yeah. Uh, will they ever RMC this one? I definitely wouldn't complain if they did, but definitely glad that we got that at King's Dominion. Here's a ride that we still can't figure out why it is not a floorless. Vortex, and it's a full queue. Looks like Electro Spin is closed. Check this Halloween decoration out. He has blood water pouring out of his eyes. That's pretty cool. These decorations look a lot better in the day, or at least you can see them a lot more clearly. I mean, at least this scare zone was actually fairly well done. Uh, there weren't a lot of great scares, but at least in terms of the set decoration, I really like how they filled the midway space here. Next up, Copperhead Strike. All right, time for a locker rant. So here at Carowinds, they do not have transferable lockers and it is $4 per locker. So $4 for one ride on Copperhead Strike. The locker is good for two hours. However, then if we go over to Fury, you gotta pay $4 there. And so uh, I, I just got mine extended for four hours at Fury, because I know that we're just gonna keep coming back to it, which brings it to $10. And then I bring my bag over here and gotta pay another $4 for, you know, what will probably be one ride on Copyright Strike. 
I just like okay. It's fine if you're gonna have lockers. You know, I, I get it. You want to make it more efficient. You want to have bins on the right platform. With that being said, you gotta have transferable lockers. Like it is almost universal at every single park that has those GoPod lockers. You can just move them from ride to ride. And that is not the case here at Carowinds, and I'm sorry, but that's gotta change. This weight really isn't bad, it's just this last set of cue house right here that's underneath that kind of cutback. About 20 minutes later, and we're gonna try and go for the back rows of Copyright Strike. Grandma's shed. What's in the shed? Moonshine! Apparently. It's not What's jam. What's in the shed? It's Mystic Timbers. What's in the shed? Wow, your voice is so loud. What's in the box? What's, What's in the box? box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Such weak launches. Such But that's okay because it has a lot of good other parts. Yeah, it's, it's so fun. Good. The ejector is yeah. amazing. The ejector is really strong. I really like it is. the transitions. Um, it is yeah, an right, interesting yeah, right. ride though, because it is not very like, fast at all. Th that's what we were just saying on the break run. It only goes like I think around like 50 or 55 at tops out at, but it takes the elements at a very, very strong pace. Yeah. It feels like you're going a lot faster than you actually are. I don't know about so. that last part, but I will agree that yeah, <laughs> the, right. the pacing is solid. It's just just very interesting because like it'll have these you know fast paced kind of sections and yeah, then you'll sure. stall out at different elements. Yeah, it's got a lot of hang time. It's got a, it's it's got a lot of everything. Stalls like out at the right times. Like every time you stall, you're either hanging or like doing something cool. So okay, I, I think it's a great ride. Honestly, there you go. Well, surprise, surprise, Nighthawk is broke. Uh, but we're heading over to Harmony Hall for some lunch and I just want to showcase actually some of this really cool theming here that they have for Scarowinds. Uh, much like the pathway in the County Fair area, they've just put a bunch of really cool building structures here to fill the space and it looks really great. This is actually an area that we did not walk through when we did Scarowinds, but overall I think it looks really nice. I like what they did there. Yo, rocking chairs? Are we at Dollywood? We are in Dollywood, actually. Aww. Should so, we go ride a lightning rod? Uh, if that's being a hyper, I think we should. So, Intimidator? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Intimidator. That did not work at all. Um, <laughs> well, since they're incompetent, um, it's like, what do you think of Intimidator? <laughs> Fury. You know, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know Fury. Yes, <laughs> Fury is better. Intimidator, though, it's, it's great. fun, it's even still great. though it is the inferior Intimidator. It is. It is. I two three two. You know, one thing I was talking about actually uh, right before we got on this is Intimidator three or five has like a designated plasm. Like it feels like you are walking up to something great. Yes. Like it, it has a presence to it. And this is just kind of plopped down on the pathway and yeah. has like a little kind of like plaza area, but like Fury is clearly the star of the show. Like when you walk up to Fury, it has that same presence that like Intimidator 305 has. Yes. So, Except like, Intimidator 305 is usually a station wing. Yes, Fury Not so much for that. Fury. That was yeah. so good. That was oh, so, look, so good. Oh, look who decided oh, to talk about Intimidator finally instead yeah. of Fury. Oh. I wasn't dissing you at all. Fury's good, have you been on it? I love this area right here. It's so pretty and it's the right amount of shade. I mean today it's not particularly hot so you don't really need it, but it's still really nice and pretty. I know other people have pointed this out, but Ricochet is literally like the colors of Fury. And it's weird. Ooh. Beautiful. Beautiful! Stunning! Yo, I just want to give props to the Fury crew for being like incredible. They are doing so good with operations. Like they are sending the train before it has even hit the brake run. Like with, like basically when it hits the top of the first airtime hill, they are dispatching these trains out. They are so wicked fast. I'll see you guys out of here. Enjoy your drop. 
30 minutes till park closed and we managed to peel ourselves away from Fury for five minutes. We're gonna go do Afterburn and then maybe if we make it back in time then we could get in line for Fury before it closes. Also, I decided to try Mr. Poop Strawberry and it's interesting. So, it's one of those kind of days. Top Gun, here we go. Look how empty this station is. My kind of crowds. I can't believe we just wasted all that time riding Afterburn when Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare is right oh there. Oh my god, you're such a clown. How was Fury? Fury was so good. Have you been on it? No. I still haven't been on it. I know, we still really? haven't been on it. I know, we're gonna leave Kara when it's not riding Fury. We oh. should like... Alright, I guess we're going back. Look at the shark wheel covers! They're so cool! Also, props this ride for not having a mid-course because that is totally awesome. And shout out to the Batwing for being so whippy. That thing's great. They redid this kids area a couple years ago. It looks fantastic, so it's all themed to Camp Snoopy now. It's actually really, really nicely done. Dropping into the bathrooms like... Fun fact, we actually attempted to do Nighthawk, but the line was really long and it broke down. And also, I don't like that ride, so it got vetoed pretty, pretty quickly. I don't even think I've ridden it since like 2017, maybe, maybe 2018. I don't know, it's been a while, but I was not a fan of it. I think anything would be better than that ride here. So, what do you want to see replace uh, Nighthawk at Carowinds? I can think of some good fits. Well, that was an incredible ending to the day. We're the last ones here in the Fury Plaza because we got last train of the night on the roller coaster. And for the first time ever, from my experience at a park here in the US, at least, you know, not during a coaster enthusiast event, uh, when you chant one more time, it actually works. It actually works. We got two rides. We come back in the station with the last train and we're all chanting like one more time. And I'm thinking, this never works. Like, like I've done regulars. this before. Like, yeah, this doesn't happen. A bunch and they're of like, are like, oh no, it'll work. They're like, like they're like, like, they're like uh, right. yeah, uh, can you be a little louder? And so we're like, yeah, sure. And they're like, all right, yeah, we'll send it again. We're like, what? Yup. <laughs> From my memory, the only time that that's worked outside of an enthusiast event was at Exhibition G-Force, that's in Germany. Like, I was just under the impression you don't get that at uh, parks in the US, especially at a big chain. But let me tell you, that Fury crew is awesome. They are pumping out those trains. Yeah. Uh, they were like meeting their interval. It was, it was awesome, fantastic. Absolutely. So we had a ton of rides in today. And, you know, even though we just did the main roller coasters that we always do whenever we come here and, you know, skip fine. a lot of the dust, that's okay. That's so much fun. I didn't need the boomerang. I didn't need the arrow. No. I did not need the stand up. I'm fine. I'm <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, absolutely. Can I give everyone a quick tip? Yes. Never leave Afterburn at 457 and arrive at Fury at 459. You are a psycho. If you know this park, you know that is crazy. And, I'm and you die. just did it. Yeah, don't do it. I'm about to throw up in the car probably, so don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> he literally gets there, and like, there? like the minute that they close the entrance, Bro, and like, he got there two sprinting. minutes. I've never, I don't think I've ever run that fast. Like not even in like a basketball game. In I'm school. glad that we got two rides because if we got any less than that, I would be. They wouldn't I mean, have been it worth, it. worth it. But now it's like double Peter. worth it. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh man, Tyler, how was your day? Hey, yeah, I just rode Afterburn instead of riding Fury with you guys because we <laughs> haven't been on Afterburn like at all. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot. Back right on Afterburn. Ridiculously good. It's pretty good. I tried good. making it to Intimidator before it closed. They closed the line a little bit early, so I didn't nah, add dang. anything else after that. You guys. Well, got there's your tip. It. They sometimes they close the lines yeah, early. Yeah, that's something. I, I think it happened on Friday too. Uh, they closed the lines yeah. a little bit early sometimes, which I mean, it's understandable. They want to get you know the crowds out, especially when it's busy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Because they have to clear the park out entirely for uh, the Halloween event, so it makes sense. But uh, really I had a great time. I had a great weekend. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys got a couple more for your rides. I was content with mine. That's yeah. Say that after. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Rides. And how was your first time at Carowinds? The Fury is better than Steel Vengeance. Yep. Oh, okay, nice. all right. Well, that's the end of the video. And that's it. Y'all gotta ride Fury. Have you been on it? So good. Oh my <laughs> I'm so God. done with you. <laughs> all right, guys. That's gonna do it from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Custer Studios. And we'll see you next time. Dude.